Hello, and welcome to your Color My Cookie kit by Tart Bakery. This kit, we have unicorns and trucks. I'm gonna first open the box and show you all of the pieces that we have today. So first you will have an insert like this, which shares the Color My Cookie story, and it has details about ordering and all of the components for the kit. So take a look at this, and you can see all the things that you're getting today. So we're gonna unpack this kit first, and we have, of course, all six cookies. We have a sprinkle cup, the cookie color palette, some extra icing, a paintbrush to paint the cookies, and a set of gloves. And there's one extra cup in here for the water. So, I'll give you a moment to unpack your cookies. Okay, I took the time to unpack both sets so I can show you how to decorate all of the cookies in this one video. And so I've got all of the unicorns, the mermaids, and the trucks all unpacked here. The two things that you're going to need from your own home are a pair of scissors, and a paper towel. So I've got those two things here. The first thing to do when handling cookies is wash your hands. So if you haven't already, take a minute to go wash your hands. We'll pause the video here and we'll see you in just a sec. Okay. After you wash your hands and dry them very well, the first thing you need to do is put on the gloves that came in your kit. So I've just got these two latex gloves. And now we're ready to go. So I'm going to pour water into these cups. You can just get the water from your sink, but I've got it in this little cup here. Okay. Now I've got my water all ready for both of my color palettes. So one for each of them. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I remember what colors I'm working with. So I'm gonna take my brush and get it a little bit wet and then dip it into each color and then paint on the side so I can see what I'm doing. So this one's the yellow one. green, blue, and then there's another yellow. Let's see, okay, so I've got all of my colors there, and then I'll do this one on the same side here. So I've just got a little water, dipping it in there, so I remember what, what, which dot is, what color they are. Just a little bit of water. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I can see what each color is that I'm working with. All right, the very first thing I want to do is do the piping work. So the very first thing, you take the scissors and we're going to snip off the ends of the black icing. Okay, so I've got the black icing here. I just want to test it here. I have all of my cookies set up on a piece of butcher paper. And you can use newspaper or butcher paper if you have it. So I just want to make sure the icing is coming out of the bag without any problem. And there it goes. So in your kit, you have the chocolate jimmies and the black icing. So the first thing we're gonna do is ice all of the wheels. You wanna ice the wheels first and put the jimmies on because if the jimmies get onto the dry cookie, you can just brush them off. But if you've already painted it, they'll stick. So we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pipe my icing onto the cookie. 
The icing is pretty soft, so you don't need a lot of pressure. It'll come out of the bag pretty well. Slowly go around and around, getting the icing off over the whole cookie. And as I get to the edge, I'm just gonna push it a little bit with the bag to make sure that it goes all the way to the edge. I'm gonna do this on all of my wheels. I have here six truck cookies. I've got two or two different kinds. I've got dump trucks and tractors. We're going to take the black icing, go on all of the wheels, and also on the back of the dump truck. We did this this way so you can put fresh icing onto your cookie and then put the jimmies on and they'll stick. That's the only way to get them to stay. So I want to move this one closer to me. This is why you need to have gloves on so you can touch them. You can see I'm not pushing too hard. The icing's pretty runny. It comes out of the bag pretty nicely. Now, just one more to go. We'll be almost done. After you do a few of these, you can get a little bit more confident in how fast you can go and how long it takes to tighten them. Okay, oh, I've missed one here. One little dump truck end. All right. So now I'm going to put down my black icing. I've got my jimmies. So I'm going to open up the container here. And then I'm just going to take some jimmies and sprinkle them on the wheels. And this can kind of be, see how I got some, some jimmies here on the, on the white part? And they just come right off. But they're sticking to the fresh black icing. And this can be either the, the tread on the wheels, those little lines, or it can be dirt, whatever, whatever you think it is. Okay. And I've got, I'm gonna put some on the back of the dump trucks here. And this is kind of like something the dump truck is carrying. A mound of dirt, maybe. Okay. Almost done here. Got them on almost all of my wheels and the backs of my dump trucks. If you have any extra, this is the time when you get out the vanilla ice cream. You can have the rest. Okay, so I've got some extras here. I'm just going to put those back. And I've got all of my dump trucks covered with the jimmies. I'm going to kind of move these to the side. We're going to let that dry and move on to something else. I'm going to take here. Take a little bit of a minute to clear off. The rest of my jimmies. And we're going to move on. If you want to spend a little bit more time on this step, you can pause this video here, and I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. While the trucks are drying, the wheels are drying, we're going to move on to the next set, the unicorn. But in, throughout each set, I'm going to be giving some tips on how to actually decorate these cookies. So you'll get tips for how to do both designs, 
but also tips for how to decorate cookies generally. So listen closely, even if it's not the set you're working on, and you can find some ways to decorate cookies a little bit better. I'm going to start on the unicorn, or the, the mermaid tails next, and what I'm going to do is get my green icing ready. I got my scissors, and the, I'm going to test it. Perfect. We're going to ice the tail of the mermaid. So then, in this one, I'm I'm right-handed, so I'm holding the bag in my right hand, and I don't want my hand to move. So I'm holding my left fingers just next to my right hand, so that when I'm piping, my right hand is steady. I'm going to start on the outside of the tail, all the way on the outside, and then work my way towards the middle. If you leave any gap between the fresh icing and the border that we've already piped on there, it will form a little bubble and it won't be all the way filled. So you have to make sure to push the icing all the way to the edge. And then once you do one, you can start to see how it's done. You can go just a little bit faster if you want to move on to the next step. And I'm kind of pushing the bag around to help smooth out the green icing. We're going to let this dry. Put our green down. We're going to let the mermaid tails dry a little bit. And we're going to move on to the unicorns. And if you want to stop this video here and work a little bit more on this step, you can pause and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we are going to start on the unicorn heads now. So I'm going to get these in front of me and get my icing color. So we have pink, blue, and purple that we're working with today. I'm going to take my scissors and open these bags up. do whatever combination of colors you like. You can do only one color or all three colors. This is where it's fun to just use your imagination. So I'm going to first start with the horn. I'm going to turn this around real quick and I'm just going to pipe and make little circles with my hand as I go from one side to the other. So I'm going to go here, I've got little circles, I'm going to do a different color for each one. So I've got the horns piped, and now I can work on the mane. And I'm going to do all three colors for all of the unicorns. So I'm just going to do a, a few different lines of each color, and I'm going to space them out so that they aren't all mixed together. So what I'm going to do here is make a thick bead of frosting and then drag it, and as I drag it, I'm going to stop piping so that the bag pulls the icing in a thinner line. And then from the front of the head, I'm going to go the opposite direction. For a little bit of a bang look. Okay, 
So I'm going to do all of my pinks. Maybe a little longer. And in the front. Okay, I made this one a little bit longer. You can play with different shapes. And then I'm going to do the purple next. Okay, after this, we're going to let this icing dry so that we can layer the blue on top and then maybe a little bit more pink and purple. So I'm going to put these aside for the moment and let them start to dry. And you can already see the mermaid tail that we just piped has started to dry. It doesn't look quite as wet as the pink and purple over here. And pretty soon it's going to be solid enough to do more decorations to it. So let these dry right now. And we're going to move back over to the trucks. They've dried enough that we can begin with the painting. So now we're going to start working with the brush and the palette. So you can pull the palette close to you and the water. And this is where you might want to have your paper towel handy. All right, so I'm going to start, and we just want to dip the brush in a little bit of water and kind of get some of the water off of it. We don't want it too wet. Then I'm going to choose green to decorate my first truck with. And I have to look and remember, I made little dots of color here to remind myself where the green is. So I see this dot right here, so I know it's this color. So I'm just going to get a little bit on there, just test it on my paper. And we're going to start to paint. And this is like watercolors that you might use in school or in an art class. The thicker the color is on the brush, the darker the color will be. And you've got to remember, see, so I made it a little darker this time. I didn't dab it in as much water. You can see the color is a little darker. And you can Work with what you've got, and it doesn't really matter if you, know, if you make it a little darker and you didn't mean to, you can always paint over it. We've, we've drawn these black lines for you so that you can know when to stop, and also to help make sure the colors don't run together too much. So I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit of water and then dab it off. Get it in a little bit more green and keep going. You can see the way I move the brush is visible on my truck. So I try to go the same direction. You want to get close to the edge where the black line is, get all of the white part colored. Oh, and I got a little jimmy on there. Get that off. You can see I'm going to paint a little bit more green up this way. All on the body of the truck. You can go a little, once you get the feel for it, you think I can go a little faster. I understand what I'm doing. You get it close to the edge here, and then you get close to the edge and you slow down a little bit. Because that's when you want to pay attention. Make sure you don't color something you don't need to. Okay. 
my body of my truck is almost done. Just a few little corners here and there. Oh, one more Jimmy. A corner down here. Okay. Now you can see that my truck is painted green. And now I'm going to really rinse off my brush. Get all the green off of there, and I'm going to dab it with my paper towel. Don't want to be too rough with the brush. It'll pull out the bristles, and that could get a bristle on your cookie. So you want to be gentle with the brush, which is why I'm not pulling out. I'm just getting the paper towel around my brush and then dabbing with my finger. Now we're ready to go with the blue. We've added blue to this set so you can paint the window and the headlights. Actually, I think I might do the headlights in yellow now that I'm looking at it. And I'm going to do yellow on the wheel hubcaps as well. But for the window, I'm going to do blue. And so I look here and I see on my palette that I've made a blue mark right here. So I know that that's my blue. A little bit of water, dab it onto the brush and then make sure my color is something I like. And then we're gonna paint the window. And this is where the black lines are very helpful so you know when to stop. There we go, that was pretty quick. Now I've got my blue window. Again, I'm going to get my brush really wet and dab it with my paper towel. Dry it off. Okay, now a little bit of water. And then I'm going to go back to, I'm going to get yellow. I've got my yellow in here. My yellow, make sure it's the color I'm happy with. And now I'm going to, I can see I've got my, some jimmies here, I'm going to use my other end of the brush so I don't touch it. I'm just going to clear off this part that was covered in jimmies. This part too. Remember this black icing is still wet so you can kind of push those down and they'll still stick. So I'm going to get my yellow here. Just paint my hubcaps. Quick little detail. Let the jimmies fall off, that's okay. There's a lot of them on there. And now again, I'm gonna just get a little bit wet. A little bit more yellow. I'm gonna paint the headlights. And I've got a little bit more space here. And I feel like I'm, I'm, I like this blue color a lot, but I feel like I could use a little more blue down here. And you can use your imagination. So I'm just going to use a little bit more blue. I don't know if this part of the truck is blue, but it's blue on my truck. There we go. All right. Now I've painted this entire truck. You can paint all six of these trucks, all of these colors, whatever you want. We can pause the video here and you can paint the rest and we'll see you in a little while. All right, so I went ahead and painted the dump truck so that you could see what it looks like when it's finished. And this one had especially had a lot of sprinkles around the wheel hub, so I had to use the back of my paintbrush to clear that off before I could paint it. So that one is done. And now we're going to move on to our mermaid tails. And we're going to do the same thing. So I've got my unicorns here, the mermaid tails here. And I have my mermaid color palette. And I've got my water. The best part about the color my cookie 
is that you can do whatever design you want. And the mermaid tail really is an opportunity to use your imagination. I'm going to start with blue. Again, I have my blue dot of color here, so I know that that's what I'm working with. I'm just going to start painting lines of color. Some short and some long, all going in more or less the same direction. Okay, the mermaid tail is very shimmery, there's lots of different color, and that's what we're going for here. We included blue, purple, teal and green. You can get all sorts of different colors. I'm going to go next with my purple. Again, same thing, just lines going more or less the same direction. What we're trying to do is cover up the entire cookie. So we want to get close to the blue. We want to leave a little bit of room for the teal. Okay. I'm going to get my brush very wet here and then dab it off. Okay. And my teal. spaces and on the sides. You want to make sure to remember to get this side down here. Don't want to go to all the trouble of coloring the top and then have the white sides. Okay. And if the colors kind of mesh together a little bit, that's fine. We're trying to create something that looks totally colored on top. Well, you can always stop here, if you like, and allow this color to dry a little bit before you continue. I'm gonna move on to my next cookie and allow these to dry a little bit before I continue. And that's the good thing about watching the video when you're doing your Color My Cookie set because you can watch what I'm doing while some of your cookies are drying. Because there is a little bit of time to wait sometimes while you're waiting for things to dry. The best thing about these designs is that you can do all of them in one sitting, but you have to let some of them dry just a touch before continuing. So I'm going to make more purple than the others. Okay. If you want to pause the video here and 
and spend a little bit more time on this stage. You can pause now and we'll see you in a few minutes. The last step in our mermaid tail is to add a little bit of glitter. In your kit, you have this sprinkle mix and inside is a little bit of glitter on the bottom. And what we're gonna do is just drag, we've got an extra brush here because there are two brushes with these kits and I've just used one. So we're going to take a little bit of a dry brush and just pick up some of the glitter and tap it down onto the mermaid tail. So I'm just getting the dry brush and scooping up all this glitter and then just tapping with my finger and getting the glitter down on there. And that's the last step for the mermaid tail. And now we can move on to the last part of our unicorn, which is the blue. So I've got my blue icing bag and I'm going to just fill in some spots with blue. And then go over it a little bit more with some pink just to layer on a little bit more texture. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take some of these sprinkles and sprinkle them onto my unicorn. And they will stick to the wet icing. And there you have mermaid tails, unicorns, dump trucks, and tractors. Thank you so much for watching this Color My Cookie tutorial, and I hope you have fun with your cookies. The best part about decorating Color My Cookie is eating them.